Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe there ready to do your Monday, December 14th to the 15th. Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course. But hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Cancer. I'm going to get a channeled message from Spirit for you in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot. Oh, two of Cups, Five of Swords. Oh boy, Nine of Swords and Seven of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles. All right, let's see. Let's see what Spirit has for you, Cancer. Center yourself, Cancer. The balance of the body, body, mind, and spirit is necessary for you at this time. Take into consideration, Cancer, your needs. Some of you are too concerned with what everybody else needs instead of yourself. You're letting yourself go by the wayside here. Put some importance on your needs, Cancer. I keep stressing this. Okay, thank you. All right, Cancer. Six of Pentacles, right? That's talking about balance once again. So I feel like, Cancer, for some of you, you've recently come together in a love relationship. If not, you will. And you're going to have people around you that are a little uh, pissed off at this. Angry, jealous, not sure if they're going to tell you about it. I don't think they will because it's showing up as like a frenemy. So, yeah, I feel like they're going to be jealous at your happiness. They feel like you're elevating. They feel like, um, which, you know, you would think is a good thing. But because you're elevating, they feel like you're going to be going away from them. So you may be picking this up. I feel like you will be picking this up emotionally speaking, empathically, whether you admit it to yourself or not, but it's making, it's going to make you anxious. So if, if all of a sudden, right, you come into this relationship and you begin to feel anxious, you've got to ask yourself why, because it's going to be traced back to what you're picking up from people's sort of uh, responses. I mean, it doesn't matter what people say to your face, right? You can feel that energy behind whatever words they're spewing. And you're very empathic, Cancer. You're going to be able to pick this up. But you need to pay attention to what your needs are, not what everybody else's needs are. For instance, okay, it feels like this person needs you to lower your vibration are you going to do that because somebody else needs you to no you're, you're going to be doing a disservice to you how can you light the way for anybody else if you're not lit kind of sounds weird but you know what i mean <laughs> tell me about the two of cups here tell me about cancer's individual Knight of Pentacles, King of Swords, 
Now one more. This cups and Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, Cancer, it's somebody that you may be working with or you meet through work. Because I feel like this person has a lot of stability here. This has been like slowly but surely coming. I feel like it's been going at a snail's pace, but that, that's been okay with you. Because I feel like a lot of you Cancers have been dealing with a lot of shit at home. So this, this slow pace was actually refreshing, but I feel like it, it, it's like you're, you're coming to this, this brink of a new day here. And it's like, it's time. This person can feel it. So they approach you. Tell me about the nine of swords here. Why this anxiousness? You want me to do, okay, sorry, Five of Swords. They want me to do the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Swords. The Knight of Cups. I told you. Yep. The Six of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords. Yep. They're jealous at this love offer because they feel that if you're giving attention to somebody else, there's going to be less attention for them, less energy put into them, and they don't want that. They're pissed about it. They're pissed because they don't have anybody um, around them as far as love is concerned. So I feel like they've been sucking your energy, to tell you the truth, Cancer. Right? So be careful. They're, they're going to try to give you anxiety, I want to say, put you in this position. Don't blind yourself from what this individual or individuals, it could even be more than one person, is trying to do because they're going to try to emotionally manipulate you. That's what I'm getting in the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Yeah, King of Swords. I told you. You're going to pick up empathically this message that they're not happy with you. They're not happy with this, yep, Six of Cups with this love relationship and Eight of Wands. Yep. Because this is a very, this is a soulmate from a past life. You're going to have a connection. They're going to feel this connection and it's going to worry them. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here. Oh, no way. Oh, Cancer, be careful because they just said that it, it's almost like this person is so manipulative, Cancer. They're going to try to get you to, to like self-sabotage yourself in this relationship. Be very careful of emotional manipulation. Three of Wands. This person could be at a distance. Clarify again the Seven of Swords. Yep. The Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. And the Six of Swords, okay? It's like, this person is bringing you a sense of peace, but they're going to try to stop that. They're going to try to emotionally manipulate you, get you all fucked up in your head to get you to self-sabotage instead of waiting. I feel like there could be a sense of waiting here because there's distance, but d don't render yourself stuck because you get the hangman here and you get the two of swords here, which is stalemate, which is stuck. Go with your first instinct with this person, which is yes. I mean, it's as simple as that. Not maybe, not let me wait. It's 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 a yes, Cancer. So how does this person feel about you? This this love. <laughs> Nine of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. They see you as their wish fulfillment. 
you bring out a very passionate side in them. I'm getting from the Knight of Wands. You make <laughs> now they're giving me the song. You make me feel so young. I don't know who sings it, um, but that's what I'm getting with the Knight of Wands. Okay, and they they too find a sense of peace with you. And I was getting that with the Six of Swords. You you find this sense of peace within one another, and it's very healing for both of you. But you may stop yourself from coming together with this person because of this emotional manipulation. Not even, I, I would say it's even more emotion. It's, it's more, they're going to try to get into your head as well. So be prepared for that. Advice for cancer. Advice for cancer. The sun. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't be afraid to be emotionally vulnerable with this person. Yes. Don't be afraid to embrace this healing aspect with them. Don't be, don't be afraid to embrace this peace. Look within to what you want, Cancer. Okay? Tend to your needs. Judgment. Healing. Once again. A communion with a soulmate. Advice. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. Absolutely do this. Okay? Don't let this person get into your head. Talk to your soul first. Okay? And trust your soul's instinct. All right, Cancer. I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day, Cancer, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on The Dailies. Namaste.